see this is almost 12 meter span. Mm -hmm. It's 11 meter, 80 centimeters. Um, and even though it's four apartments with uh, different typologies, the basic one was a three bedroom. Mm -hmm. And in this uh, span with three bedrooms, we thought that a four part type portico would work very well because you would have two rooms perpendicular to the facade, yeah. which we'll then show you. And taking one module each and one taking two, which would be parallel. Mm -hmm. Also structurally, it works very well because it's roughly three meter portico. Yeah. And because we have the structure on both facades, it, it was just easy. Mm -hmm. And then perhaps we'll show you the... The ground floor? So yeah, so you see also on the ground floor, the four part type portico works well. Yeah. First, because we have to use one module to pass the cars. Yeah. Here in Matuzinhos, you need to have what they call a house for trash with direct access for the cleaning services directly from the street. So there goes another. And then we used two, two Mm -hmm. uh, to make uh, an outside portico, so we'll only have gates uh, here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, you see the four doors, one each for direct access for the, um, the people of the, of the building to, to put their Service. trash there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here you'll pass to the, to the back of the pot, and here we'll have the, uh, the post boxes, yes. and here you enter the building. So it's a small entrance and the, the staircase and the elevator, the elevator here. And on this side, it's just storage uh, that it's divided in small uh, spaces for each apartment. Yeah. And, and this is uh, also... A, a it's a common room for common bikes room. and yeah. those things. M bicycles and yeah. uh, it has electrical chargers for, for yeah. bikes and there's a small toilet over there. Let's bring the, the three bedroom. Perhaps. So rising sun yes. and it's the back of the plot, so rooms there. Yep. And living spaces in the front facing west. And we wanted to have a living room that would occupy the full width yeah. of the plot. And we wanted to have the main circulations in the living room on the edges. Yeah. So we wanted to enter on one side and circulate to the private spaces of the house on the other end. And then we put all the service areas in the middle. Mm -hmm. We connected it with a curve because we wanted to. That's nice. <laughs> we thought so. This is the, the main master bedroom. bedroom. Yeah, master mm -hmm. bedroom. It has this bathroom accessible here. Mm -hmm. And there's a second bathroom which shows both rooms. Mm -hmm. And there's a space here with a laundry machine, which in Portugal you have in every apartment. Yeah. And that's it. Here you have a small service uh, bathroom. And here you have uh, space for storage. Yeah. Uh, and also the fridge and, and the so fridge on. And, yeah, those and the fridge. Yeah, so yes, the, the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah, the yeah. kitchen is here, but also some, some of the areas. Just have that cabinet. This is the famous yeah. uh -huh. cabinet. <laughs> <Yes>. Famous <laughs> because uh, Mark called me already twice this oh really? morning. This yeah. morning? Why? Yeah, because of uh, this uh, fridge for the bottles. Uh -huh. He has it there and he can't think about <laughs> anything else. But it, does it not work in the I mean, it's tight as we yeah. saw, yeah. so yeah. he didn't really know how we wanted to make it, so he was kind of concerned and uh, thinking okay. how he's, <laughs> he was doing it. So <laughs> so this is... So this is the... the, 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 the floor plan. Yes, the first we developed and then we proposed this to the clients and two of them wanted a three bedroom, but two didn't. Uh, they wanted uh, a bigger, uh, bigger areas actually, so a bigger room mm -hmm. uh, because it's, um, well, one, it's a, a couple in, is in his 70s and they, they live alone and sometimes the kids maybe come, visit. come to visit. Uh, and that's, that's the third floor. Yeah. And there they wanted a two bedroom. And the bedroom, the second one, should be just for guests. 
And the last one is the more radical. So the idea was that uh, you don't have your kids anymore, so you want a big apartment with large uh, common areas to gather the family and your friends, yes, but you only small. need a you only need one room. So uh, this was a bit the the. So three bedrooms, two bedrooms, one, bedroom. one, bedroom, one bedroom, bedroom, all with the same area. Yeah. The two bedroom is very similar to the three bedroom. It's just that. This middle room becomes a uh, dressing room, you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the one for guests. And because it was for guests, they did not want the guests cro the crossing the yeah. corridor to go to the bathroom. So they asked us to make a also uh, an ensuite bathroom there, which is that. And then for their uh, bathroom, they wanted a number of things. They wanted an enclosed toilet. They wanted yeah. a shower. They wanted a freestanding a tub and they wanted a potato's bath, steam bath. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you see it's very similar in structure even though... So it's a spa. It's a so little so spa. Wait, wait until you see the, <laughs> the top one. The, the last one, yes. So then, yeah, the top one, it's just a one bedroom. So here is uh, the sleeping area. You have one dressing room here and you have... Um, also, two other uh, closets. This. Yeah, closets. Okay, these are very big closets. And ideally, this was supposed to have no doors, yeah. they asked us, but you had to put a few. But <laughs> again, the toilet should be separated, there should be a freestanding tub and a shower, and all spaces should uh, be accessible to a wheelchair if necessary. Yeah. Uh, and therefore, there should also be a bench within the shower. Of course. So yeah. this is it. So, so, the so you see, so the 30 square meter bathroom. You know, I should measure it, but easily, yes. Yeah. So the, the, well, the living room is the same, it's it has the same, the same structure, mm -hmm. uh, even though here you have the. It's already larger. The, uh, uh, the bit larger the space and also the the laundry room and it has uh, skylights making yeah. the two of these uh, small rooms also there are <coughs> and there's a, a very large skylight here mm -hmm. and another one in, in the shower so so yeah yeah and then this is the roof these beams so you have a this rooftop terrace no. no no it's just technical and these beams they actually tie the facade to the shaft. Uh, to the shaft and to a pillar that's uh, here and yeah and these are just skylights 